Hey everyone, so in today's vlog, we're gonna talk about where truth fits in spirituality. So truth is the throat chakra, it's your thyroid gland. Now, truth in consciousness, for me, has meant that I got real honest with myself. So I had to sit back and observe my thoughts and feelings and become honest with even the negative thoughts that I was having because those are me too. So I really had to shine that Blu-ray light on all of the thoughts and observe them eventually without fearing them or judging myself of them and realizing the truth behind that thought. So I'll give you an example. For example, you know, I live this life, many of us do, of playing victim, okay? At first, my first, when I was unaware, everything was everybody else's fault and I played victim. The second stage of it was I started becoming uh, a little more aware of my thoughts, but I wasn't fully putting truth on them. So when other people were doing something to me, I began to say things like, oh, it is what it is. Or I started like almost blaming myself and saying things like, okay, so I caused it. At the end of the day, it's always me. I'm not going to play victim. This is something that I had to learn. This is, you know, I created the situation and this scenario. That was stage two. And that was still very superficial because I didn't understand the truth behind what illusion it was that I was still having the pattern within myself that I was, and patterns are part of sacred geometry, which was within my chakras, organs, blood cells, all of it that were creating these situations. So that was the second part where I started blaming myself and just saying, okay, not blaming the other person now, but blaming myself. And I thought that now I'm not playing victim. And to an extent, I wasn't. But there was still a distortion there because I wasn't coming from the throat chakra. The third part of it was when I began to really look at my truth. So observe the thoughts and be like, okay. And then when I created outward scenarios or situations where I felt somebody was doing me wrong, I started looking at resonance. I started looking at what resonance within myself created the scenario with that particular person because there is a resonance between us that I and that other person are vibing with. And this situation was not a positive situation for me. And you know what you do with stuff like that? When you get to that level of truth, what I did anyways, what I did with that was you look at the opposite. So if the resonance between you and that other person, let's say was greed, and that's a hard pill to swallow, but let's say it was greed, then you want to begin to look at what is the opposite of greed. And you internally truthfully through this throat chakra want to start working with the yellow ray which is the solar plexus it's the third chakra you want to start working with the third chakra once you come into the truth and you want to start doing things out of whatever the opposite of greed would be for you whatever even if it resonates a little bit and it's the opposite of greed, I'll tell you, it's still going to have a little bit of greed in it. When you see something that's complete opposite of your resonance, negative resonance with the other person, at first, it's not going to feel, even though the opposite word is very positive, it's not going to feel like you can do it. It's going to feel like, 
how the hell am I going to get there? It's going to feel really, really big. And maybe the opposite of greed for you is going to be giving. See, for me, giving was easy. I knew giving wasn't the problem. For me, it was like the intention behind the giving. Was I giving because I truly cared and loved this person? Or am I giving because I want something back? So for me, when I started thinking about greed and then the opposite of it, which is giving, I was like, I give a lot. And I do. I do. But back then, I didn't realize that when I was giving, I was giving out of fear still. I was giving because I felt like I almost had to give. Not because of the way I was raised, like I wanted to give, my heart chakra was open, but sometimes it wasn't. But I would still give out of feeling guilty almost. Do you see? So that is how you work with expanding consciousness and the thyroid. Love you guys.